Can you imagine Greg proposed to me yesterday? Wow, that's amazing. I'm so happy for you Lena. Greg is such a cool guy. But wait, I can't see a ring on your finger. It's because I turned him down. You turned him down? But why? You know Greg Linda. I wish you could have seen. The proposal was so cheap, and the ring, that was even worse. Of course there is no way I could have accepted such a cheap proposal. I deserve better Linda. Lena, I am your sister and to tell you the truth, you are going to lose a very good guy, because of your obsession with class. So what if he bought you a cheap ring, does that even matter? What matters here is that, you are with someone who loves and appreciates you. There you go again. You know what? What you say cannot let me change my mind. Do you want my friends to laugh at me for wearing a cheap ring? And what next? A cheap wedding? I can't bow for such. Don't you love Greg? Because as much as I know, Greg loves you so much. I do love Greg. But who on earth enjoys a relationship when the guy cannot afford the things they need? Really? Are you going to let go of the opportunity to enjoy true love, because he can't afford what you need? You are unbelievable sis. Besides, Greg is a very ambitious and hardworking. I can confidently tell you that, his situation will change for the better soon. Linda, that soon may never come you know. Oh, really? Yes, really. Can you stop lecturing me now? Okay. Lena, I'm sorry if my proposal offended you yesterday, but that's the best I could afford. Okay Greg, don't even worry about it. That's what you always do anyway. You never meet my standards. Lena please, just be patient with me. Once my business becomes stable enough, I promise I will let you have anything you have always wanted. I hope it comes sooner. For that reason, I'm taking you for your shopping today. Really? Ah, let's go right now. Seriously? A second-hand clothes store? Who does that? I'm so stupid, I should have known better that you can't afford new clothes. I now understand why Jimmy was telling me that, my good-for-nothing boyfriend will never make me happy. Jimmy? Who is Jimmy? You want to know who Jimmy is? Well, Jimmy is the gentleman who buys me the expensive stuffs that I deserve. He bought me the latest iPhone that you couldn't afford, expensive jewelries, clothes and many other things. That guy spoils me like crazy. Have you been cheating on me? This isn't right Lena. I told you to be patient with me. Once my business becomes stable, I will get you all those things you need. You have to break up with that guy. Please. Patience, patience is nonsense to me Greg. I'm sorry but the one I am breaking up with is you. I can't do this anymore. No Lena, you are just kidding right? You wish. When you finally learn how to treat a woman, you can have me back. You can't do this to me Lena. I promise I will give you everything you need. What I'm asking for is just some little patience. I said patience is nonsense to me. Good things can't wait Greg. I'm sorry. Bye, I'm headed to where I belong. Lena broke up with Greg. She ran into Jimmy's arms, who spoiled her with expensive gifts and money. This however did not last long. Greg on the other hand decided to give himself time to heal after Lena broke his heart, since he loved her too much. During that period, he concentrated on his business. One day Lena walked into a restaurant, where she ran into the greatest shock of her life. Jimmy, what's this? And who is this? What do you think Lena? Of course she's my girlfriend Lena. Girlfriend? I am your girlfriend. Correction, you are my ex-girlfriend. This is Jane, my new girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend? Since when? You took me shopping just yesterday remember? This is a joke right? It's all in the past now Lena. Your time is up. Jane, is now my girlfriend. No way. Lena or whoever you call yourself. Can you stop insisting? Can't you see you are spoiling our fun? Go away. As Lena was busy mourning her short-lived affair with Jimmy, Greg found love again. He found love in Regina, the lady who fell in love with him despite his financial drawbacks. Regina supported Greg all the way in good and bad times. 
she restored Greg's belief in true love again. The belief that had died, due to Leno's behavior towards him all through their relationship. Because of his hard work and determination, slowly by slowly things started working out for Greg. Having grown fond of Regina and his love towards her, Greg eventually got married to Regina. One day as they were on a picnic in the park, Lena bumped into Greg. Greg, is this you? You have really changed. Things started working out well for you I guess. Lena, yes, this is me. You have changed too. I see you wear secondhand clothes these days. I don't want to talk about this Greg. What are you doing over here anyway? Actually, we're on a picnic. Ah, I see. Is that your car parked over there? Yes, it is. Wow, you drive Porsche? Yes, I thank God. Okay. You see the ring I rejected the time you proposed to me? I am ready to wear it now. Really? Yes Greg, I am ready to marry you Greg. Lena, I'm sorry, it's too late now. What do you mean by too late? There, that's my wife Regina. You can't be serious Greg. It's only me you should love. No one else. You thought so? I know that. Well, I'm sorry. You are wrong. I am now married to this beautiful soul over here. Who is she Greg? This is Lena. My ex-girlfriend. Okay. Nice to meet you Lena. Greg, you have to get rid of this thing you call your girlfriend. Excuse me, it's wife not girlfriend, and I won't let you disrespect my wife. Let's go Regina. You are stupid Greg, what does she have that I don't? Do you really want to know? She believed in me, she accepted me the way I was. She never pressured me to get her things she knew I could not afford. She is a queen, a beautiful soul. She deserves all the good things this life has to offer, and I promise I will give her all that. No way. This is not fair Greg. What is not fair is reaping where you did not sow. He who is absent in your life during the hard times, does not deserve to be there during good times. Goodbye Lena. I've lost him. Lost who? Greg of course. Greg? You dumped Greg long time ago. Do you have amnesia? Yes, I know. But I didn't expect him to be with someone else. Greg loved me too much. Now he is very rich and worse, he is married. But look at me now. I can't even afford a place to stay. I warned you sis, this was bound to happen. So you see, you lost a big thing because of your pride. You wanted to please people who unfortunately, do not even care about you now. I'm so stupid sis. I wish I was patient with him. Unfortunately, it's too late now. Thank you for watching.